Alright guys, welcome to my new Let's Play series. I am super excited about this. I hope you guys are too. People have been wanting me to play Persona for the longest time on the channel because I've talked about how I'm a big fan of the Persona series. Um, and what better time to do that than with Persona 3 Reload. So I'm going to admit something to you guys. I tried to play Persona 3 uh, way back in 2012. And I just couldn't get into it. I had just finished Persona 4, absolutely loved it. Uh, so I wanted to go and play, get my hands on whatever Persona games I could. So of course I went and played Persona 3. And I just found it was a big step back. I wasn't a fan of the mechanics. I just felt like I couldn't get into it. But I'm giving it another chance. And from what I have seen, they have fixed a lot of the issues that I had with uh, the original Persona 3. Uh, so this is going to be like my Persona 3 Redemption. Uh, I'm going to finish this dang game, and I hope you guys are excited. So I can't say that this is a completely blind playthrough of Persona 3, but it's been so long since I've played it that it, I, I pretty much consider it one. Um, so without further ado, guys, let's get into Persona 3 Reload. I hope you're excited. Let's go. All right, we're going to go with normal. Um, I, I'm no noob to Persona games, but I, I don't feel super confident, even with all of the changes to make the game probably easier. I'm not going to go with hard. We're just going to go right in the middle. Let's go with normal. Time waits for no one. All are equal in its flow, all lives born to their ends. You, who would protect the glimmer of the finite future... You have a single year. Go forth and live in the time given to you. Even in these uh, halcyon days of repose, let your heart guide you and never stray from its path. See, I, and that's the thing is, I don't know in terms of like the story and stuff, how much has been changed from the original, like the the uh, the CGs and stuff, because it's been so long since I've played. So for all I know, like all this could be different and I would I would not be able to tell you otherwise. Although I do appreciate this takes place in what, like, I mean, the the main character in the opening, he had, like, an MP3 player. He's got an MP3 player, like, that just goes to show you, like, this takes place in a time from quite a while ago. It'll be kind of fun to, like, go back in time and see how things used to be. Like, I remember in high school where you had to have an MP3 player. And then the trigger. Okay, I I do vaguely remember th this. I was like, no also apparently these are all new voice actresses and voice actors. It's a whole new cast. So you guys can let me know what you think of the voices if you like them. I have no attachment to the originals, so. And another thing too is apparently all of the um, Social links are fully voiced, which is pretty cool. Like, this isn't just a basic remake, like, they've really done a lot with this.
So I can't remember if the if if the MC at this point if he is a member of what was it what is it cease. <laughs> he seems just unbothered by everything. I arrived so late. I better hurry up. Okay, so he does know. I was like, just the idea of him just being like all this happening and he's just could not be bothered. Iwa Todai dorm. That's where I'll be staying from now on. Should be just up ahead. Yeah, definitely a darker. That was one thing that really like took me off guard. Like not to say that Persona 4 is a super happy game all the time. It does deal with murders and stuff, but like yeah, quite the quite the tonal shift between Persona 4 and 3, and I think that was another thing that like I was like, whoa. And I, and I, like, I don't mind dark stuff, but it was certainly um, a surprise. It looks like the entire station is undergoing construction. And as I do, I'm supposed to go somewhere. I'm like, I'm going to not do that because I want to check out everything. It seems like the place is under construction. Probably best if I don't trespass. Uh, also, really quick, I will be doing it. It'll be like a slightly edited Let's Play because I don't want this to be like a 100 part series. So I will do my best to at least show, you know, a, a portion of the fighting. Um, but like, I'm not going to show every little thing because I don't want it to be long and boring. Better keep my distance. It looks a little dangerous. I say this as I explore everything, which will make the game longer. But I mean, I want to get a good idea of the, you know, of the world. Oh, hello, coffin, coffin-like object. Is this a coffin? Yeah, pretty dark with like the opening, um, with like the girl falling off the roof it looked like, and then it turned into a coffin. I wonder what's in these things. He just seems so nonplussed about this. These things are everywhere. So he is, like, a little surprised about it. <laughs> but he must have some idea what's going on. He's, uh, yeah, just glowing coffins. Nothing to worry about. Blood everywhere. No biggie. Iwatodai dorm. I guess this is it. But yeah, from, from what I do remember about the original game, like, holy cow, the graphics look amazing. Now, I would love for them to do this with Persona 4, but I feel like Persona 4 does still really hold up well, even with the graphics not being, you know, like, the best. Welcome. You're late. I've been waiting a long time. If you wish to proceed, sign your name here. It's a contract. There's no need to be scared. All it says is that you accept full responsibility for your actions. All right. Please sign your name here. I don't know, oops, I don't know what his, uh, what the main character's canon name is actually i have no clue i i was kind of hoping it would just go with that because my name it doesn't really work so actually i'm gonna look that up i'm gonna be boring and i'm probably just gonna stick with like what his uh his canon name is all right so his name is makoto yuki um so i believe it's usually like the, the family name is first so yuki would be the first would be first Good. Time is something no one can escape. It delivers us all to the same end. You can't plug your ears or cover your eyes. And so, it begins. here at 
this hour. Don't tell me. Wait. I didn't think you'd arrive so late. I really did a good job with, I like the uh, the little sprites and I like their uh, portraits. Now, with the exception of the like 10 or so hours I played of the original Persona, uh, I do know these guys briefly. Uh, I think I were, so she's Mitsuri. Uh, what is the girl with the short hair's name? Uh, Cause I played the Persona fighting games, uh, Persona Arena. And then I also played Dancing in Moonlight. So I do know of these characters a little bit. I just couldn't get into the characters like I... Like with Persona 4, I liked them pretty much immediately. Persona 3, they never really grew on me. But to be fair, I didn't really give them much of a chance. Uh, but I will say from my time of playing like... Especially Persona 3, uh, Dancing in Moonlight... The music is amazing, and um, I don't know, what are your guys' thoughts? Because I think the opening song, I think that was a new one. I know Burn My Dread is, like, the very popular song from this, and I love that they got Lotus Juice back, because he's awesome. My name is Mitsuru Kirijo. I'm one of the students who live in the storm. Oh, wait, did I call her a Mitsuri? Mitsuru. Who's he? He's a transfer student. It was a last-minute decision to assign him here. He'll eventually be moved to a room in the boys' club. Her voice, I, I do remember her voice was kind of deeper, I believe. Because she's like the oldest one, she's kind of, she's like the leader. Is it okay for him to be here? I guess we'll see. This is Yukari. Yukari. She'll be a second year this spring. And I, there's Junpei, uh, I think Akihiko is the, the boxer. Um, uh, I think the little kid is Ken, so I do know some of their names. Uh, and then there's Fu Fubuki, Fu Fu uh, the girl with like the short blue hair. I can't remember her name. Okay, nice to meet you. Why do you have a gun? <laughs> An appropriate question to ask. Well, uh, it's sort of like a hobby. I mean, not a hobby, but... You know how it is these days. It's for self-defense. It's not a real gun, of course. It's getting late. You'll find your room at the end of the hall on the second floor. Your things should already be there. Why don't you get some rest? Oh, I'll show you the way. Follow me. Pretty easy to remember, huh? Since it's all the way at the end here. Um, do you have any questions? No, seriously, what is with the gun? Does that kid live here too? She'll probably be like, what kid? What's that contract for? So all oh, both of these things, right? Like, <laughs> she has no idea what a contract. I'll say, does that kid live here too? What kid? What are you talking about? Come on, that's not funny. Yukari doesn't seem to know what I'm talking about. Something on your way here from the station was everything okay? Yeah, you know, other than the blood and the coffins. What do you mean? So he like has no idea then? He so he doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't understand why they have guns because I know the guns are for them to use their persona. So he has no idea what's going on. You don't know? I guess that means you're fine. Oh, okay. Don't worry about it then. I'd better get going. Um, I'm sure you still have questions, but let's save them for later, okay? Good night. Life in the dorm start today. The room came pre-furnished and everything. I'm spent. I should probably put my things in the closet and get to bed early. Ooh, can I decorate? I want to decorate my dorm room. Probably not. You can save your progress in the game by pressing the H button. Saving is possible whenever H is displayed on the screen. Okay. So, 
I, it'd be nice if it was like Persona 5 where I could at least, because there's some shelves and stuff, if I could at least get things from the world and be able to display them. When you save your game, it also saves a little bit of your past. You can go back to that time by opening the menu, going to the system and selecting Rewind. Oh, cool. When you select a Rewind slot, you will be returned to a point where you could roam freely shortly before you save your game. Note, the Rewind function does not save your new starting point automatically. If you use this function, make sure you continue to save your game as necessary. Huh. Okay. That's a nice little feature. I'm, like, I'm excited to uh, see all of the... The new changes. I, like, I don't remember much of the old game. I The thing I could not handle was Tartarus and just the fact you couldn't control your party members. Ah, yes, and I did get some DLC because I got like some uh, bonus costumes and stuff. Purchase DLC can be redeemed by checking the clause in your room. But apparently there's a big overhaul in the um, in the combat and stuff. And that was that was the big issue I had with the game. That's why I stopped playing. A calendar hangs on the wall. No specific plans are written on it at the moment. Should probably rest on the bed instead of sitting in the chair. All right. Sleeping in your bed will allow you to advance forward in time, proceeding to the next day. School starts tomorrow. I should go to sleep early, so I'm ready for the first day of school. Oh my gosh, 2009! Ah! Wild. It's Sakura. Are you awake? Good morning. Did you sleep okay? I've been asked to show you the way to school. Are you ready to go? I can find it myself. No, I'll be nice. Great. Let's set out. And this is how we'll be getting to school every day. It's a monorail. Pretty cool, huh? I honestly love the ride here. It almost feels like we're flying over the ocean. That would be a nice oh, by the way, our trip to school. Stop on this line. It's called Tatsumi Port Island. Have you heard of it? The whole thing's man-made, and our school's smack dab in the middle. Oh look, there it is now. to welcome you to Gekko Khan High School. I hope you like it. You'll be okay on your own from here, right? Let's see. I guess you should go see your homeroom teacher first. Damn, this is a fancy looking school compared to like Persona 4 and Persona 5 that just looked like regular schools. This one has like humongous windows. It almost looks like a cathedral. The faculty office is over there on the left. We'll tell you more when you get there. Well, that about does it. Any questions before I go? Uh, which class are you in? Me? I don't know. I haven't looked at the classroom assignments yet. Hey, about last night. Don't tell anyone what you saw, okay? See you! So she says, don't tell anybody what you saw, but also I told her I didn't really see anything out of the ordinary. There's a crowd forming in front of the bulletin board. Maybe I'll take a peek before going to the faculty office. That'll be probably all the clubs and stuff. Oh, it is so weird. It is so weird playing a Persona game with a keyboard and mouse. I uh, I wanted to play with a controller, but for some reason I can't get it working. So this will have to do for now, but it seems easy enough. What? I don't see my name. What should I do? What should I do? Oh, great. I'm the worst teacher ever. Oh, there it is. Class F, huh? Homeroom teacher is... What? Miss Toriyumi... I guess she is older than me, but I was hoping to be with Miss Kano. There's no need for them to post the names of the kids who are going to be in our class. I mean, we'll never see them again after we graduate anyways. 
So this guy has an actual, like, pro portrait, so I'm assuming he might be a social link later, or at least somewhat important. All right, let's take a quick look around. Like, this is... Like, damn! Look at this school. It does look kind of like a cathedral. What? Cos, what are you doing? Why are you wearing a jersey? Uh, what do you mean, why? We've got practice after class, remember? But we've got to attend the opening ceremony and go to class before all that. Hurry and head into your classroom so you can change into your normal uniform. What? But I just... Okay, okay, fine. Just quit glaring at me. So where's the bulletin board with all the class assignments? It's literally right <laughs> You're in class F. I'm in a different homeroom, so I can't keep an eye on you all the time. You got that? Good grief. Kids these days don't know how to show respect for their elders. We're their teachers. We've lived longer than them. But Moriyama and her friends had to pull that on me at the very beginning of the term. See you. Sorry to interrupt, but I need to get back to managing the shop. Even you're shooing me away? Some way to start the school year. I don't think my nerves can take this. Oh dear. All right, all right. You want me to order more of those cream, uh, cream-filled breads you like so much, right? You could have just asked. Oh my gosh, there's a lot going on here. The faculty office? Um, I think it's that way. Actually, I'm new here, so you should probably ask someone else. What? Oh, what? I am already interested in this guy. What? <laughs> Just casually wearing a samurai helmet. School curriculum nurtures the samurai spirit within our students so that they contribute to society. Oh la la, how wonderful! I wish to set my soul on fire and learn the ways of the great samurai also. Alright, so obviously we have yeah, foreign exchange student, okay. So he will probably also be a social link that I will possibly never, never do. That's what I like to hear, my boy! Though you hail from a foreign land, the samurai spirit burns within you all the same. Bam. Look at ah, just the aesthetics. I love it. Like even just the menu, the persona really knows how to just how to make a good looking game. And the music is so it's just so nice. I love the Persona 3 music. Oh. Check the men's room. It's the men's room. Let's enter. I don't know if this does anything. I can feel my mind starting to wander as I wash my hands. Whenever I see cherry blossoms in full bloom, it feels like springtime has finally arrived. Huh? The library? Strange. They even made sure to check the map, but where am I? This appears to be the welfare practice room. I wonder what kind of class is held here. In any case, I should hurry to the faculty office. <laughs> and I'm going to not do that. This is the printing room. I wonder if the teacher's handouts are printed here. Teacher's handouts are printed here. In any case, I should head to the faculty. All right, all right. So that's here. Library. Nurse's office. Faculty office. There we go. Student? Her hair looks almost exactly like Yukari's. Huh. Yuki Makoto. You're a second year, correct? Wow, you've lived in a lot of different places. Let's see, ten years ago, your parents... I'm sorry, uh, I've been so busy, I didn't have time to read this beforehand. I'm Ms. Toriumi. I teach composition. Welcome to our school. What's your first name? Well, I'm just, wow. I was like, I don't want to be too forward. I'm going to be, I'm just going to be nice. I'm just going to be a nice little boy. Wow, such enthusiasm. Because he looks so dour and kind of like a little emo. So I'm going to be the complete opposite of that. Have you seen the classroom assignments? You're in 2F. That's my class. But first, we need to go to the auditorium. 
The welcoming ceremony will be starting soon. Come on, I'll show you the way. And so, another new school year is upon us. I'd like each of you to remember the problem. If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. When applied to student life, this means... The principal continues with his speech. Hey, you came to school with Takeba-san this morning, right? I saw you two walking together. You must be pretty close, huh? You jealous? What's the deal between you and her? Oh, and uh, does she have a boyfriend? <laughs> now what he seems to know. She does. I'm just gonna cause chaos. <laughs> Leave her alone. I mean, why wouldn't she write? Wait. How close are you guys? Who's that? Someone's talking. Yeah, sounds like it's coming from Miss Toriyumi's class. Hey, shh. Be quiet. You're gonna get me in trouble. Oh, okay. We're just skipping right to after school. Hey, there's Junpei. He always reminded me of a friend of mine. Like, if if my friend looked like could be an anime character, like look like an anime character, it's Junpei. And so like I automatically and same kind of personality too. So I like I like him. I like Junpei. Oh gosh, neither of these sound very nice. I'll just say you are me. Call me Junpei. Junpei or I transferred here when I was a second year in middle school. Pretty tough being a new kid at first, you know? So I just wanted to say, hey, see what a nice guy I am? Hey, hey it's Yukatan! Didn't think we'd be in the same class again. <laughs> there you go again, acting like everybody's best friend. Try not to make him uncomfortable, okay? What? I was just being friendly. If you say so. Anyway, who'd have thought we'd be in the same homeroom? Yeah, what a coinky dink. It must be fate. I don't have all oh, the courage to say this right now. Maybe I could say stuff like this without hesitation if I was at least determined. Anyway, Aw. Who'd have thought we'd be in the same homeroom? Oh, they're gonna give me another chance. Okay. Yeah, I know. Funny, huh? Um, uh, hello? Are you forgetting I'm in this class, too? Anyway, I gotta ask. I heard you guys walk to school together. What's up with that? Come on, give me the dirt. Huh? What are you talking about? As is high school, right? It seems like news travels fast. We just happen to live in the same dorm. Why do people always jump to conclusions? Have rumors been spreading about this already? <laughs> Uh, she doesn't need to know about the fact I told that guy that she has a boyfriend. <laughs> Whoops. Hey, you didn't tell anyone about you know what, did you? You know what? Don't tell me you forgot. <laughs> no, I'm playing dumb. And she's like, exactly. Seriously, don't say anything about last night, okay? That's gonna sound yeah, right? That sounds really bad coming from I can't remember what Junpei. Junpei, isn't he a member of, like, Cease? Um, so, so does he not live in the dorm with him? What? Last night? Wait a minute, don't get the wrong idea. Listen, I just met him yesterday, and there is absolutely nothing between us. Jeez. I have to go now. There's something I need to take care of for the archery team. You better not start any more rumors. Ah, who cares? No one takes rumors seriously anyway. She's so paranoid. But hey, it's your first day here, and people are already talking about you. Believe it or not, she's actually pretty popular. You the man. Well, here's to a fun school year, dude. You're ready to head out. We can walk to the station again. Yo! Should we also take a look around the school while we're at it? 
I'll just follow you around. If you want to leave, head for the front entrance. Club ditching student. Oh, you're that transfer student. You gonna join a club or something? Uh, I'll say I'm planning to. So you guys can give me your opinions. Uh, you can tell me, like, your opinions about, like, what clubs would you recommend joining? Maybe even, like, what social links would be good for uh, this game? Or, like, what characters do you think are really good ones to, uh, to be friendly with? Oh, yeah? You won't be able to join right away, though. I hear a lot of them are at max capacity. Just keep an eye out for an open slot. They might start recruiting again in late April. New school year, sure are rough. New teachers, new classmates. It's exhausting having to start over every year. Yeah. If you're trying to leave, you gotta go to uh, you gotta go a floor down. What, did you forget or something? Alright, let me just kind of get a handle for these controls as well. Because, yeah, I would have missed these people right at the front here. Ah, gosh, this is keyboard and mouse. Weird. Hey, new kid, you have no idea how lucky you are. You're surrounded by cute girls in 2F, like Takabasan. Don't you feel completely lost whenever you transfer to a new school? This is the second floor, and the one below has the faculty office, club rooms, and more hands-on classes. If you go down either of the two staircases, you'll be able to reach the front entrance. Alright, let's take a look around the school. <laughs> I'm different that way. We're gonna go out this way. Just because it's the new school year doesn't mean that students should be running wild. It's up to me to reinforce order. That is, once I've officially become a member of the disciplinary committee. You think so? You're making such a sour face again, Odagiri kun I guess some things never change. I, I know, it's like, sometimes I just get vibes from certain characters. I'm like, I don't think I'm gonna do their social link if he is, if he does have a social link. I could be wrong. Sometimes, you know, you can't judge a book by their cover. Did you hear? The new transfer student's gonna be in 2F. Oh my gosh, what if he turns out to be really cute? You wanna go steal a peek? Oh yeah, apparently- <laughs> Ah, right here, ladies. Apparently he's staying at uh, Iwatodai dorm, the one Takaba-san's staying at. Isn't it kind of weird to transfer schools as a second year? I wonder if he was a troublemaker at his last school. Isn't that always the case? It's just, uh, every time- Except in Persona 5, people actually did think he was a- cr I mean, he was not a criminal, but- I appreciate the fact you can save whenever. That's great. I kind of did that by accident, but nice to know that that's how we bring it up. Oh, did you just transfer to our school? Right. Well, just so you know, the only person I'm interested is in is uh, Kirijo Senpai. She looked so stunning at today's welcoming ceremony. Oh, you're leaving? You know how to get back, right? Junpei, don't go teaching Makoto-kun any weird stuff, alright? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Catch you later, Yukatan. Now, what's up here? Oh my gosh. This camera, though, this is this is definitely gonna take some getting used to. <laughs> you can tell how fashionable a person is by how they wear their school uniform. I'm gonna brush up on the latest trends to show off my best self. Yeah, those trends of 2009. Oof. That was, uh, that was a rough... <laughs> the, the, the mid, early to mid-2000s were kind of rough uh, in terms of, like, fashion, at least. I remember being so, though my guy looks pretty stylish. Oh, there she is. Surname Fubuki? I'm already going to be a second year. I hope I can fit in with my new class. Her name starts with an F. I'm pretty, I'm like 99% sure. So if we want to see her, she's probably going to be on the school roof a lot. Nah. You can't go back downstairs through there. I know, it's confusing, right? So we'll probably, if I explore the school, I'll probably get a hint of seeing, like, all of our future team members. So obviously there's Yukari, there's uh, the blue-haired girl, uh, maybe we'll see Mitsur Mitsuru. I keep wanting to call her Mitsuri. Uh, Akahiko. Oh, there's Speak of the Devil. There she is, Mitsuru. Yes. Oh, it's you. Be careful on your way back. I'll be heading to the dorm soon as well. Don't stay out too late. 
You have some nerve dozing off in class this early in the new uh, semester. Why, back in my days, it was unheard of. Kids these days. Yeah, I'm sorry, all right? Yeah, the semester's just started and I'm already being nagged at. Man, just when I was planning on going to Hakakure for some ramen. I couldn't sleep last night because I kept thinking about school starting, so I came to the nurse's office to nap, but that nurse gave me some weird medicine instead. I turned it down because it looked really gross. Only a brave soul would dare drink something like that, so I need courage. What is it with, like, the nurses or doctors in these games being, like, kind of crazy? The teacher in the nurse's office is, uh, he's an interesting guy. You know, I've never even been in there once. I guess I shouldn't be proud of that. Oh, I can't go in yet? Alright. Can I go with you? Okay. So, we've seen most of the characters. But I haven't really gone down this way, have I? Like, past here. These classrooms are also used for club activities, not just for lessons. Typically, it's the culture clubs that use them, but they don't seem to be accepting new members right now. What do you want? I'm a little busy here. I gotta text all the new friends I made today. And there's this girl. This door leads to the courtyard? Which leads to the gym? Or was it the practice field? I'm so confused. <laughs> this is me whenever I go to a new area. <laughs> I am her. Alright, can we go up here? Oh, I've already been here. Okay. So, I think... I guess I've seen everything. That leads to the roof. Alright, let's head out. Or can I go out to the courtyard? You're in class 2E, right? I guess you're stuck with uh, Ikoda for homeroom. Ha, that sucks. Stop laughing. Ugh, there's a bunch of gloomy weirdos in that class, too. Man, I hope something interesting happens. Something thrilling. Tree seems special for some reason, but I wonder why it's there. Why is it planted here all alone? Okay, the gym. That's probably where we're going to see him if, we, if we're able to. This leads out to the practice field. It's pretty much just the track team that uses it. Apparently it's top of the line in terms of quality. Well, guess not. Alright. I'll well, just have to see him another time. Okay, I think I've seen everything I want to see, so let's head on out. You ready to get out of here? Ah, cool. Let's get going. There he is. And of course, everybody that we're going to be friends with is, like, super popular, except maybe Junpei. <laughs> Check out the jocks on their run. Say, you thinking about joining the club? Oh, wait. New members got to wait a while before they can apply. Your stop's hitting with Todai, right? Orms. Man. Oh, well. All right, so that answers that question. So he does not live in the dorms. I'm going this way, so see you tomorrow. Everyone's excited because school's starting, but I don't really care. The news has been really weird lately. I even saw some policemen around earlier. Yeah, quite a bit different than it looked last night. <laughs> We received a call from this area. Is everything okay? Ah, uh, ugh. Not this again. It's the same as that weird syndrome being reported all over the news. Oh, I guess a new school semester started. I was wondering why I've been seeing so many students around. The world's a strange place these days. These kids better prepare themselves for the future.
Now, I don't remember much about the world, but I do remember going to, like, the mall. My friend is a cat, and it's so cute. I'm not allowed to have one, though, so I just try to get my fill of cats by looking at strays. I want to eat some takoyaki. Who are you? I'm not allowed to talk to strangers. Sorry. Oh, okay, here we go. Town map. Use the town map to navigate your surroundings and move from one location to another. Visit as many spots in town as you can, and they'll be added to the map. All right, so the student dormitory, the strip mall. All right, let's 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 stay in the... Uh, We'll stay in the strip mall, because I haven't really checked everything out. Oh, are you a student from a school around here? Well, you'll be glad to know you can get some quality sushi close by. I make it right here. Drop by sometime if you want. Oh, actually, our shop is still under renovation. Sorry. We're a bookstore, not a sushi restaurant. I'm sorry. He's always like that. There are so many great shops here, I can't help but swing by. I'm not- or I'm out here for work right now. I'm not slacking off. Can I go up here? I can. Yeah. Man, I'm stuffed after that meal. Maybe I'll run a couple of laps. I wonder if someone new will compete this year, like a rival, to get me fired up, hint hint. Uh, usually when I do the clubs, I- I don't tend to do the, um... I don't tend to do, like, the sports clubs. I tend to do... More of, like, the artsy stuff. Who are you? By the looks of it, we go to the same school. Sorry, but I'm busy trying to decide what to eat here. Should I go with pork ramen and chase it with rice? Or perhaps a large Hakagure bowl? Hmm. Nope, nothing up here right now? Manga Star Net Cafe. It looks like you can not only read manga here, but also purchase computer software. Maybe I should check it out sometime. So it's like little hints of like the things that are going to be able to open up. So you got restaurants. Yeah. So not really much is to open up to us yet, but pretty soon it feels like it's going to be overwhelming. Like there's going to be so much stuff to see. There are all kinds of shops here at the Iwato uh, Iwatodai Strip Mall. If you're craving delicious food, then head to Wakatsu. There's also Haku... Uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, Hakagure, a famous ramen shop. You can also find dessert here and burgers. And Sorry, I'm just going on about food. I guess it's eating time. Just kidding. That uniform. You must be a student at Gekugokan High. That's nice. Do you live in this dorm? It looks like Geku, uh, Gekukan, oh my gosh, Gekukan High went through a rough patch a while back, but it's been rebuilt into such a magnificent building. Never mind me, enjoy your new sp school semester this spring. Why am I having such a hard time reading? <laughs> More so than usual. Gekukan High. I'm sure I'll get the hang of that. They'll probably be saying that a lot. I like the way the characters just kind of glide across the floor. How was your first day at school? Eh, not too bad. Yes. I see. Well, don't hesitate to ask your classmates for help if you need it. Oh, apologies. I didn't mean to keep you here. You've had a long day, so get some rest. Well, let's, uh, yeah, let's take a look around the dorms. Oh, welcome back. oh hi. What are you doing? Uh, not much. How about you? Um... Just killing time, I guess. Well, you're probably pretty tired after your first day, huh? Maybe you should go to bed early. Okay, Morgana. <laughs> There's always gotta be someone telling me to go to bed. Let's see what's on TV. On to other news. New information has been released regarding the apathy syndrome that has been on the rise. The Medical Association believes this may be a psychological disorder caused by environmental changes, such as... 
Is that what I have when I was walking around seeing all the coffins? Like, not even concerned? Maybe I was affected by the apathy syndrome. A list of residents. My name is also listed. Can I... Ooh, I can't go back here. There's a computer on the desk here. I wonder if it belongs to someone. Looks like a storage room. It's probably... It probably contains the dorm's equipment and such. Alright, let's... Let's get a better view of the place. Do you see? I would have completely missed Mitsuru. By the way. It's dangerous to go out on your own. Please refrain from doing so. Besides, you must be tired after today. You should make sure to get a good night's rest. Okay, Mom. Don't tell me what to do. I'd say I'm an adult, but I'm not. This is the woman's restroom. All right, I wonder if we're going to see that kid again. All right, so we got a oh, vacant room. Okay, so they're going to be added on later. So right now, in this whole dorm, is it literally oh, Sonata? Sonata? There's someone inside. Should I talk to them? Oh, I was just about to say, I'm like, is it literally, literally just Yukari and, and Mitsuru? Is that Mitsuru? Sorry, I'm busy. Could you come back later? Sonata. I don't recognize that, uh, that name. I'm going out for a bit. Hmm? Have you seen the newspapers lately? There's a lot going on. I know. Severe cases of apathy syndrome are suddenly developing in people who showed no symptoms prior. It's been quite a topic of discussion. They say it's due to stress, but... Yeah, right. It's gotta be them. Otherwise, it's not worth my time. I don't know how I feel about his voice. Seems... I don't know, it seems a little deep, or like, a, I don't know, a little adult for a teenager? Don't worry. <laughs> Maybe it'll grow on me, uh, but like I said, I played the first game so long ago, and I don't remember their voices much from the other little snippets of games that I played, so like, I don't have any sort of attachment to the other, like, to the old voice actors. But you guys can give your thoughts on um, how you feel about them compared to the, the old voice cast. This isn't a game, Akihiko. I can hear people talking. Have you heard? The rumor about, uh, what was it again? The bathroom? Hold up. That's old news. Besides, it's just a ghost story, not a rumor. You're talking about that one girl, right? The second year? She stopped coming to school and just sits around staring at walls all day long. Whenever her mom tries to talk to her, the only thing she says is, It's coming. It's coming. What? Is that really how the story goes? Ugh, whatever. It's probably all made up anyway. Some disturbing rumors seem to be spreading around the school. The first bell is rung. Open your textbooks and we'll take a look at the first novel by Zenzo Kasai. Ugh, why him? I've been more interested in Tota Kane uh, Kaneko's work lately. His essays are fantastic, and he's also a famous haiku poet. I wonder why all this isn't in the textbook. Well, I guess I'll just bring his book next time. Speaking of haiku, they often use words or phrases related to seasons, but it's easy to get them mixed up. Alright, I'm about to be asked a question related to poetry. I'm probably not going to get it right. For example, you think tasty bamboo shoots and vivid carp streamers would symbolize spring, right? Well, they're actually related to summer. Haiku poets usually refer to seasons based on the lunar calendar, making it fairly complicated. Iori, are you listening? Here's a question for you. Among these phrases, a rain of flowers, mystical mirage, and vivid carp streamer. Oh, which one symbolizes summer? Okay, this isn't too bad at all. Literally, it's just the thing she just talked about. Yuki, you were listening, right? Lend your brother a hand. 
All right, social stats. When going about your day-to-day -day life, you will come across certain actions that require the use of one of these stats, academics, charm, and courage. Social stats can be raised by doing various things around the city or by answering questions correctly in class. Keep an eye out for activities that might help you hone those skills. What phrase symbolizes summer? Exactly. Yep, that's right. So you are listening to me after all. By the way, mystical mirage and a rain of flowers represent spring. A mirage is a natural phenomenon that occurs around late March to early June. And a rain of flowers refers to the spring showers around the time cherry blossoms bloom. It's not literally raining flowers. Make sure you remember all that. Our next topic is... Hey, well, you know how much I like to pay attention. You seriously saved my bacon, Yuki. Makoto-kun gave him the answer just now. He must have a good memory or something. I mean, she literally just said it. <laughs> I can hear my classmates whispering. It's when they throw questions at me. And I have, like, I would have no idea. Like, it's not something that they literally just talked about. It's just, they'll bring up a topic, and unless you actually know it already, or you just take a guess, like, I I would have no idea. I'd become slightly more popular. I'm going to try. I'm not going to look at a guide. I'm not going to look at, like, the answers for these things. I'm going to, you know, just play it blind. The Iwatodai strip mall is bustling with after oh eh, with activity in the afternoon. Ah, this is you know it is the early game where you just kind of get bustled along and you just then things open up, but it's going to take some time. So this is our new guest. Good evening. My name is Shuji Ikutsuki. I'm the chairman of the board for your school. Ikutsuki. Hard to say, isn't it? That's why I don't like introducing myself. Even I get tongue-tied sometimes. I'll just call you Shuji. Please, have a seat. I apologize for the confusion regarding your accommodations, but it may take a bit longer before you receive the proper room assignment. Is there anything you'd like to ask? Uh, okay. Can I ask all these things? Why are you here? To welcome you, of course. You don't mind, do you? Speaking of which, Takeba-kun, have you seen Kirijo-kun by any chance? She's upstairs. As diligent as always. But it couldn't hurt to come down and say hello. Is there Okay, good. I'm glad that... Alright, who else lives here? There are only four... I'm guessing Sawada is probably uh, Akahiko. You, Takeba-kun here, Kirijo-kun, and a third year named Akihiko yeah. Sanada-kun. I hope you all get along. Man, this is a pretty big dorm room, like, for just four people. Do you have another question? The other night, I saw... You saw... <laughs> Yukari was like, I told you not to say anything. You were probably just tired. I wouldn't worry about it. Something doesn't seem right. Any other questions? Excellent. Here's to a wonderful school year. Now, if you'll excuse me. I'm sure you're worn out from all these formalities. You may want to consider going to bed early. As they say, the early bird catches the bookworm. <laughs> Get it? Bookworm? <laughs> because you're students? Clever, isn't it? You'll get used to his lame jokes. Oh, I thought she was pissed at me because I mentioned the thing she told me not to mention. I guess I'll head back to my room, too. Like the chairman said, you should get some rest. Transferring schools is a real pain when you're not used to it. Good night. I should listen to them and go rest in my room. I just, I'm living with a bunch of Morganas who tell me to go to bed. 
Hello there. So, how's he doing? He went to bed a little while ago. He's currently fast asleep. Mr. Chairman, do you think he's... Well, let's wait and see for now. The dark hour is approaching. Come on, what do you say? I can't leave a pretty girl standing around in the cold like this. Mm, what do you think, Naomi? I mean, I'm cool, but if my parents found out... They don't need to know. Just drop them a text. It'll be fine. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Uh, this sucks. I'm serious. I was scared yeah, right. shitless. Nice story, though. That was the Bayside Rockers, brought to you by KJ. And that's all for tonight, folks. Tune in again yeah, next yeah. week, same time, same place. <laughs> the program you just heard was sponsored by Curicho Electronics. Now, Curicho. Okay, so Mitsuri's... Mits, why do I always want to say Mitsuri? Mitsuri's family. Time is now 12 a.m. funny i thought it was the darkening i'm getting a mix-up with corpse party dark hour what the what's happening to me He's still sleeping. The dark hour occurs every day at 12 midnight. You could say it's the hidden hour. During this time, an ordinary person transmogrifies into a coffin and is oblivious to all that occurs. So I wasn't affected by it. So everybody that I saw in the coffin were just people that were out at that hour. As you can see, he's retained his human form. He may be asleep. But he's definitely experiencing the dark hour. The only question that remains is whether or not he has the potential. Though, so come to think of it, he must. If he didn't, they would have prayed. So, was it just a coincidence that I happened to come to this dorm, or did they sense something about me and brought me here on purpose to monitor me? Scary. In any case, we should continue to monitor him. So this is a reason they kept telling me, go to bed, go to bed, so that they could watch me. Yes, sir. They want to make sure that I was, like, I guess asleep by midnight. I feel kind of bad, though, spying on him like this. It's a good thing that I'm an innocent little boy and I'm not doing anything bad <laughs> that I could be videotaped doing. You know, a teenage boy by himself, late at night. Oh, the Velvet's room. And then this one is Elizabeth. I like Elizabeth. She's... She's feisty. Welcome to the Velvet Room. My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This is Elizabeth. She's a resident here, like myself. Pleased to meet you. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. Only those who have signed the contract can enter this place. That's the document I signed at the dorm. From now on, you shall be welcome here as a guest in the Velvet Room. You were destined to hone your unique ability, and you will require my assistance to do so. I only ask one thing in return. Abide by your contract, and assume full responsibility for the choices you make. <laughs> Is this a dream? I like the idea of alright, like he just accepts, like, yep, this is all... This is all normal. 
this visit of yours is merely a dream. However, you will come here of your own accord, sooner or later. Hold on to this. Until we meet again. Feels like I had a strange dream. It's time to go to school. <laughs> Let's put that in the back of my head and not worry about it. Oh, I'm so sleepy today. In times like these, the best course of action is to sleep during class. That adrenaline rush you get from dozing off right in front of the teacher can really spice up your dreams. Don't sleep in class. Whoa, you take studying pretty seriously, huh? But it takes real courage to sleep in class, you know. Then again, since I'm not listening to the lecture, I'm pretty much screwed later. That's what I'm here for, is to just give him the information that he misses. Oh, but we have classic literature today. That means we're stuck with Miss, uh, Mr. Nasty Old Ikoda. Ah, uh, uh, yes, this was the guy that was uh, complaining to the shop lady. Ahem, I'm Mr. Ikoda. I'll be your classic literature teacher. We'll be learning all about good old Japan through some truly great stories. Exciting, right? Now, some people say classic lit isn't relevant anymore, but oh, are they wrong. The students, the other teachers, they don't know what they're talking about. Nobody really understands it like they should. I'm feeling sleepy. Should I close my eyes for a few minutes? Yes. I want courage. I can feel the teacher's glare as I start nodding off. It's like my courage is being tested. Sup? How's it going? Want to stop somewhere on the way home? I don't know. Maybe grab a bite to eat? That's right. You're new around here. I just love how, like, the persona, like, in the games, the you're kind of like your best bud, your sidekick. They're always just, like, so eager. They're just like puppy dogs. They just, the first day they come right up to you, and they're like, let's be best friends. No worries. I'll show you. It's just around the corner from here. Let's go. Yes, this is the place I remember. I remember... I remember this in the original. I think this is the place I probably remember the most other than Tartarus. Whenever I hang out with the guys from school, we end up coming here. There's a karaoke box, an arcade. Oh yeah, you can rent out CDs. Oh my gosh, it's so 2000s renting out CDs. And there's that club over there. Not that I've ever gotten it myself. This place may not look like much, but I'm not complaining. Let's check out the CDs first. Oh, whoa, that's new. I gotta try this. Let me show you my mad crane game skills. Ah, damn it! Oh, come on, man. I am not leaving empty-handed. Dude, I'm gonna look from the side. I'm guessing he's gonna waste all his money. And I'll be like, can you spot me for, um... For food. One more try. One more. I hung out with Junpei for a while before heading back to the dorm. Welcome back. You're pretty late. I don't mean to be overbearing, but please don't make this a regular occurrence. Well, in any case, you look quite tired. Why don't you go to bed early tonight? All right, maps and shortcuts. M will display a map of your current location, and shortcuts will allow you to fast travel. When it's displayed, you can open the town map directly from the shortcut selection screen. Some shortcut destinations, or even the shortcut function itself, may be unavailable in certain situations. They're all just going to tell me to go to sleep. I guess there was a door mother here who cooked, for, uh, who once cooked and stuff, but it's just us students now. Maybe that's why we have such a nice kitchen. Seems like a waste not to use it. I think 
Yeah, I don't know that I'd really be able to make good use of it, though. And Kirijo-senpai doesn't do stuff like cooking, but I would feel kind of bad if no one ever used it. Hint, hint, go make us food. I must say, the moon looks quite stunning on this hazy spring night. Though tempting as it may be to spend a night such as this gazing at the sky, I suggest you head to bed early and get some rest. Don't worry, there will be more full moons. Many, many more full moons. Oh, I didn't actually go into the kitchen. The kitchen looks spacious and practical, but it seems as though we can't use it yet. So I guess, like, I can get my cooking skills up as well. Yeah, the one, the only thing so far, really, I have a complaint about is the camera. Just having to manually move the camera around all the time. But other than that, like, it's really just all, it's very clean looking, very nice looking. I love the music. I should go to bed. I think I'm going to see that kid again soon. I feel exhausted. Maybe it's because I haven't gotten used to living here. Just who was that old man from the dream I had last night? And what was that contract all about? So he's not even surprised where he's like, I had a weird dream and then he wakes up and he has the key in his pocket. Not even concerned. It just takes everything in stride. Looks like he's a little worn out. He went to bed without changing out of his uniform. Other than that, nothing has changed since last night. Hmm. Very interesting. Even those who have the potential tend to be unstable at first. Memory loss, disorientation. This subject is rather unique. He hasn't exhibited any of the common symptoms. But we're treating him like a guinea pig. Oh, don't look at it like that. The two of you are classmates, right? Consider it an opportunity to have someone your own age here. Besides, we need all the help we can get. I guess that's true, but still... Command room speaking. Akihiko, what's wrong? <laughs> You're not gonna believe it. This thing is huge. Unfortunately, it's chasing after me right now. I'm almost back. Just letting you know in advance. Does that mean he's bringing that thing here? Mr. Oh, are we gonna get to fight? That's enough observation for now. No. Oh. need to prepare for combat. All right. Uh, right. Be careful. Akihiko! Ah. I'm all right. Get ready to be surprised. It'll be here any second. This is no time to joke around. Is it one of them, Sanada-kun? Yeah, but not an ordinary one. Ah! What was that? You've got to be kidding me! Mr. Chairman, please head for the command room. Takeba, go upstairs and wake him up. Then escape out the back. But what about you two? We'll stop it here. You're the one who led it to us, Akihiko. So I'm going to have you fight. It's not like I asked it to follow me. What are you waiting for, Takeba? Go! Uh, okay. A loud noise woke me up. I should check what's happening outside. We have to get out of here now. I, I will not ask questions. That is not like me to do. <laughs> we'll leave through the back. Oh wait, take this just in case. Is she gonna give me a gun? Or a sword. Okay. Okay. Let's go. She just happened to have that in her I don't know where she put that thing. <laughs> 
We should be safe now. Takeba, do you read me? Y yes, I hear you. Be careful. There appears to be more than one enemy. The primary one's lurking somewhere nearby. What? All right, so we're going to get our first uh, experience with combat here. I hope so. Now, this is what I'm excited about. This this is what I really want to see what they did with the combat to make it a little bit better. Or hopefully a lot better. It's at the front door. Should we go upstairs for now? Let's go. We have to get to safety. Alright, let's get away upstairs. Obviously, she. We saw at the beginning she has issues with pulling the trigger. That that would be really hard to train yourself to do, because uh, you got to unleash your persona. Getting to safety is our priority now. So she's doesn't seem to be like very confident in fighting. I vaguely do remember that. Uh, where are we going? I wonder if the others are okay. No, I'm sure they'll do something about this. We need to focus on getting away. Are we going back in my dorm room? All right, go out the window. Oh no, escape upstairs. Never mind. I just left her there. I'm like, hold on, I need to check something in my room. Very important. Ah, right here. I didn't even know that there was a third floor. I know this was sudden and you were sleeping. I promise I'll explain later. Okay, so we got so. Oh yeah, this is where the control room would be, right? Uh. Uh. We have to get higher. Be funny if I if I wasted too much time if it just broke through and then we just died. Damn, this is an even bigger dorm than I thought, and still only four people live here. Don't tell me it got inside! It's getting closer! Keep moving! Hurry! Right! If we go out through here, then... <sighs> I've locked the door! So we should be safe for now. Is this just one enemy? I assume just one enemy? <laughs> okay. I was like... One of the monsters that attacked us! The shadow! <laughs> oh, damn. So here we go. Now I unlock my... my persona. Oh, just a weird smile. Oh, that's so creepy. <laughs> I am thou. Thou art I. 
From the sea of thy soul, I come. I am Orpheus, master of strength. I've already upgraded my persona? That one looks way cooler. Oh, so maybe I won't get to do the combat right now anyway. Okay. See, Yukari, that's how it's done. I literally just did that the first time and I just crushed it. So it's like a, what, a dark version of my, so that's my regular persona, but then he just, I guess like when I lose control of it, it turns into something else. Maybe something I can't even control. All right, here we go. Let's fight. I need to protect her. Yes. All right. Let's do this. What the, I love the, I love the combat music. That was the one thing that kept me going. <laughs> with the combat in the original as long as it did. Like, the music's so good. Alright, let's use my persona. I cannot lose on the tutorial one. <laughs> Damn, that's cool looking. Nice. Okay, there we go. Yeah. How convenient that the enemy I happen to fight is weak against my persona's abilities. The monsters are gone. Are you okay? Oh, come on! Can you hear me? Oh, say something! It's so good to see you again. You lost consciousness after awakening to your power. Oh, I see that it was Orpheus who heeded your call. Very interesting. That was the power of Persona, the manifestation of your psyche. A Persona is a facet of your personality that surfaces as you react to external stimuli you can think of it as a mask that protects you as you brave many hardships i don't get it <laughs> the power of a persona is the power of one's soul and the soul is fueled by the depth of one's bonds as you form these bonds by becoming involved with others your own social links will gradually develop. The strength of these social links will foster the growth of your persona ability. Please remember this. Now, time marches on in your world. I shouldn't keep you here any longer. Next time we meet, you will come here of your own accord. 
Until then, farewell. My head is getting clearer. I can feel someone's presence beside me. You're awake. How do you feel? Damn, just started school and I'm already like a week behind. Thank goodness you finally woke up. Oh, this is Tatsumi Memorial Hospital. It's just a short walk from the station. The doctor couldn't find anything wrong. He said you were just exhausted. I was out for a while. I was in like a coma. Uh, I'm sorry I wasn't helpful at all back there. But wow, that power of yours was really something. And that power you used, we call it Persona. And those creatures you defeated are shadows, our enemies. We'll explain everything later. I'm sorry I didn't tell you before. I, uh... I wanted to tell you something. I can kind of relate. To you, I mean. My dad died in an accident when I was little. And my mom and I aren't exactly on good terms. You're all alone too, aren't you? To be honest, I already heard about your past. But it didn't seem fair, so I wanted you to know about mine too. This was a while ago, but... There was a big explosion in the area. Supposedly, my dad died in the blast, but nobody really knows what happened. Uh, it's probably more than that, and I bet with her social link. Maybe we're gonna find out. Maybe, like, try and get her and her mom on good terms, or find out what actually happened to her father. At the time, he was working in a lab oh. The group. That, that's Mitsuru's group, right? So maybe there'll be something there, maybe like Mitsuru, her group, is involved in her dad's death, and maybe there'll be like some drama going on with that. That's why I'm going to Gekukon High. And why I was there when this happened to you. Not that I was much help. I kind of panicked. That was my first time facing them too. Sorry. You wouldn't have to go through all this if I weren't such a coward. I was scared too, except I handled it like a boss. Really? But still, sorry for telling you all this the minute you opened your eyes. While I was waiting, I thought to myself, I've been hiding so many things from him. As soon as he wakes up, I'll tell him the truth. So thanks for listening. I've been wanting to share that story with someone for a long time. All right, I'm going to get going. I'll let the others know you're OK. They said you could leave once you regain consciousness. So I think you're free to go home. See you! Oh, welcome back! I gotta say, I'm so relieved now that you're out of the hospital. Don't push yourself, though. <laughs> Do you want to get some rest? I just spent, like, the past week sleeping. Don't worry, your room is safe now. Alright guys, well that is going to do it, I think, for episode 1 of Persona 3. Uh, so, it's basically just the introductory part, of course. you got to be introduced to your uh, your crew members, a uh, little bit of a hint of like your character's past. Of course, the awakening of the Persona, the Velvet Room. It's all standard with the Persona games, but still felt like, you know, it's moving at a pretty good pace. i got to say, the they did a really good job of uh, making it look updated looks great sounds great um i didn't really get much of a taste of the combat i am interested to see how different tartarus is going to be that for me that's going to be the make or break on how much i enjoy this game because that's i talked about how like i found tartarus just to be just so so insurmountable and dull and i did not like the combat system in the original so if they can improve that then that's going to make all the difference on how much i enjoy this game and I can get past that and actually like get to know more about the characters and and the world because I didn't really get that far in the game when I first played it. But I'm liking it so far. It's uh, 
It's nice to get back into a Persona game for sure. Uh, and this feels like it's familiar, but it's not at the same time. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed episode one. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, from now on, my Persona episodes, I'm going to try to have them come out on Thursdays on YouTube and Wednesdays on Patreon. Um, I will do my best to make sure I put a video out every week, but it really depends on my schedule because I am taking on an extra Let's Play series. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching I, and uh, let me know what are your thoughts so far, whether if you're watching this for the first time or you're playing through it yourself, uh, whether it's your first time playing Persona 3 or if you are a veteran and you played the original, what are your thoughts on like the new voice actors? What are your thoughts on like just how it looks and how it plays? I'd like to know your guys' opinions. So I hope to see you for part two. Until next time. Bye guys. Special shoutouts to my top tier patrons. Emily Hornsby, Zorn Ether, Revealing Storm, Asborn Kennedy, Icognito, Harry Gazif, and Jared Fan.